All right, so uh, this video will be a bit of a doozy. Um, first of all, I'm really disappointed in a lot of you people. I'm really freaking disappointed. Uh, let me first say this. Are you gonna give Linus and Luke credit for even attempting to do this? Um, because a lot of people will go off their way to say, oh, Linux is bad because uh, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. You can do a lot of things in Linux, but a lot of people just simply don't want to use it because they have their own personal reasons. For example, they prefer Windows more, they prefer Mac OS more, that's absolutely fine, I respect that. What I do not respect and tolerate is basically harassing somebody for not knowing what they're doing. What I want you to realize is sit the fuck down. I'm sorry that I'm really like angry and pissed right now, but I just am. I want you to sit the fuck down and think about your first experience. Do you seriously think that you were born as a technical god, you know everything about Linux that you know now at very, at, from the very beginning, from the very fucking start, that you know where to change, what to type in, what to do, without any prior experience? If you are saying that you do, I don't fucking believe you. Unless you are the guy who originally wrote it, you absolutely do not have that. You did not have that in the beginning. You may have the experience now, and that's what I why I praise this video. A lot of people will say that this video is bad. It shows the worst possible scenarios from Linux. What did you expect? It's you're giving a. Now I'm not trying to downplay Linus here. He's trying real hard to get through this, and I can see that. But his point of view with and his experience on Linux throughout this video it was pretty much evident that he was struggling with a lot of things so uh, yeah um, most of this part the OS setup section most of this is is acceptable uh, bear in mind those are multiple hours of footage or in between footage actually that have been spent by both Linus and Luke installing and setting up their operating systems of choice with Linus ultimately ending up breaking it but a lot of people were making fun of him for this they were laughing out loud for him basically lolling all the way but this is the kind of thing that a user with pretty much no experience would run into at one point or another you guys don't realize this, but you most likely did mistakes too. I'm not gonna hide it, I did mistakes as well, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I actually managed to break Ubuntu, my first distro of choice, five times in one day, in the first day I tried li using Linux. Five times. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I don't like it. When people go out their way to tell someone, oh, you're a noob, you should not be using this. If you want more people to use Linux, you need to be accepting of each and everybody's flaws and mistakes. You need to learn to accept people that, okay, you do not know this, let me help you out in any way I can. This is the right approach. Not to go in and be fucking angry at Linus or Luke to basically drift them away from using Linux. In my opinion, what they've done great is they've picked two people from their team that represent both spectrums of the Linux user space. People who have some technical, more development-oriented knowledge that will help them get through the Linux stuff far easier. And then there's people <laughs> who Sure, they know quite a bit more about computers, but that doesn't mean they will know a lot about Linux. In my case, I studied IT. I work in IT. <laughs> I work with Linux daily. <laughs> so I get to use my experience every single day. And that's quite frankly one thing that a lot of people need to realize, that people who are using Linux are the people who just like to tinker, like to tweak their operating system, but let me tell you something, not everyone wants that. Most users want a simple, 
straightforward experience that will make it easy for the average Joe or Brittany to install it, get all their games they want to play on it really easily, and not make a fuss about it. Do not make it more complicated than it is. Sure, a lot of you people want to try and suggest a bug ton of distributions to them and tell them, hey, you should have used this, it's much easier. Is it really much easier though? Or is it easy because you already have experience with it? That's one thing you need to realize. Experience does not transfer from one person to another that easily. Someone learns at a slower rate, someone picks up things quickly, someone does understand but it takes them a while to really utilize it. Someone can utilize it right away but not really fully understand it, how it works. It's just not everyone is built the same. Not everyone is able to learn at a capacity and at a rate that a lot of you guys may be able to. For example, my, my channel that's oriented around Linux, a lot of you can use the information that's in here or let me know if I have to make an update on something. Because Linux is pretty complex and it's really hard to learn or even teach. Because you have to keep in mind uh, to what audience you're showing it. Try and explain as much of it so it's not too technical. Because, <laughs> let me tell you this, people were making fun of Linus removing his desktop environment. I already talked about this, but I need to bring this up again. Sure, it was a mistake on his part, but he did not know. He wasn't experienced enough. He didn't have the experience. To his credit, though, it was an issue with Pop OS with the installer from the Pop Shop. He was trying to install Steam and it removed his desktop environment. From what I heard, it might have been fixed, not really sure, but it does it did happen to him. But it doesn't mean it happens to everybody. He then switched through to Manjaro throughout the video, so he already had to distro hop, and it wasn't even his fault. <laughs> Sure, he did not re read most of the jargon that was presented to him, but that's what a normal user would do. They would not want to read a bunch of stuff. They just want to get it installed. They just want to click a few buttons and have it installed and be done with it. Most people work like that, and a lot of people do not realize this, especially the Linux elitist groups. One really great resource I'd like to point the guys over at LTT though to are subreddits oriented to their distributions of choice, uh, Stack Overflow which has a bunch of solutions, and if you want to install a particular piece of software try looking up the website of that software if someone has it or if someone has perhaps installation guides on how to set up things. Um, I'm still planning on making my gaming on Linux update videos sometime in the future because it's been getting some real good love, but um, I don't want to get too much into it. I'm just saying it's a bit of a hassle to get stuff running. It's far less of a hassle than it was last year. It's actually much easier now to get games running. You don't even have to struggle with it as much. However, it's not for everybody. Linux is not for everybody. If Linus goes back to Windows after this challenge, that's fine. It doesn't mean that he failed, because he did try. They said that they are going to do this every for one month, they said. Not really sure. There are some rules that they cannot use any enterprise outside or inside help. Uh, they, however, can use other sources like documentation, forum posts, guides, all of these things. So things that the normal user would have access to. So they're limiting themselves intentionally from their top tier resources like Anthony or Wendell from level 1 tax because not everyone has access to these uh, sources of knowledge. That's fully understandable because they're trying to experience Linux as it is without any outside help. Without any outside help, I mean without any corporate outside help, because it's considered corporate stuff. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, LTT, keep on going. I really praise your style of showing everything that's going on, all the important bits, uh, because this is exactly what the Linux user experience is like. Not everyone will have the same experience. And you people being pissed at Linus for not knowing his shit, 
Think back at how you started. You were certainly not the Linux god you are right now. Let me tell you that. I should mention again, please do not harass anyone in this video. I did mention in the description below, I will link to, if you are still planning on sticking with Windows, I have a video link down there with what you can do to tweak Windows to make it run faster and use REST resources without having to use any external tools, all Windows integrated tools. That said, I will link also the original video if you want to watch it down there in the description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, make sure to share this to the guys at LTT, please do. And to everyone who is actually angry at LTT right now for making these videos, you guys have to realize that everyone has to start from somewhere and no one was born with all the knowledge in the world.